It was April 19, 1995, the day of the Oklahoma City bombing. It was, at the time, the deadliest act of domestic terrorism against the U.S. government. The person behind it was from Western New York. His name, Timothy McVeigh. Tomorrow evening on HBO, a documentary called An American Bombing, The Road to April 19th, will be shown for the first time. Here's a part of the trailer. Tim McVeigh was part of the group that wanted to declare war on America. The far right movement wanted to blow up the Murrah building. Well, how come we never heard about that before? Should be interesting. Joining me now live in studio is Mike Lewicki, retired FBI supervisory special agent. He was the case agent assigned to the Oklahoma City bombing, looking specifically uh, what was happening here. You were interviewed for this documentary. What was your role in the case? Tell people. Um, I was the case agent. Uh, I had a lot of uh, personal connection to the case in that my uh, first office in the FBI was in Oklahoma City. So I had that connection, and um, it was personal for me because the bomber turns out to be from Pendleton, New York. In your role, how much time did you spend in Pendleton? Because it happened in our own backyard. Sure. Or the person was from our own backyard. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in uh, Pendleton <clears throat> for, for various reasons. Uh, we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of work to do out there. We interviewed an awful lot of people throughout the, the three-year investigation. Uh, the FBI interviewed over 28,000 uh, people, uh, 40, 43,000 leads were covered, three and a half million tons of evidence were recovered. Here in the Buffalo office, um, I don't think the office was ever as busy as it was. It was all hands on deck. The family, I can recall so often uh, covering this case back then and in Pendleton, Tim McVeigh's father, Mr. McVeigh, would just be outside mowing the lawn. What was it like having to deal with him? Bill McVeigh is, uh, <clears throat> is a very stand-up man. I respect him uh, tremendously. I spent a lot of time with Bill, uh, interviewed him, talked to him. I, I was at his house numerous times when he got calls from uh, uh, ABC, NBC, CBS networks. Uh, he's a very quiet man, a very shy man. Uh, did not want to be interviewed, didn't want to be bothered with any of this. Uh, and yet his life turned upside down because of being the father of Timothy McVeigh. We're talking about something that happened well over 20 years. From a law enforcement perspective, point of view, why do you believe there's so much interest back on this case now? That's a great question. Um, I asked that same question during the documentary. And the answer was that uh, anyone under the age of 35 right now has no idea of what happened on April 19, 1995. And it was the, the deadliest attack of homegrown terrorism ever recorded in the United States. And it's something that they want to put forth and they want the younger generation to know about. How long did the uh, HBO, how long did they spend with you? Were they at your home? A lot of time interviewing you for this documentary? No, uh, a, a lot of it was done in the office here in Buffalo, uh, but uh, others have come. Uh, the BBC was here. They went to my house, uh, uh, scared my neighbors and my and my wife and everybody else. But it was it was a lot of fun. It was interesting. Well, it'll be interesting to see tomorrow how this documentary plays out and your role, and I'm sure you'll be watching it as well. I will be. Thank uh, you. All right. Former retired FBI Supervisory Special Agent Mike Lewicki, thanks again for joining us on the 530 today. You're welcome.